Hello, class! Where do you keep food? Where do you keep food? What does that mean, keep? Keep means I take something and I put it somewhere and then it stays there. For example, I go shopping and I buy food and I put it in my kitchen and it stays in my kitchen. I don't put it in the dining room, I don't put it in the living room, I don't take it outside into the garage. It stays in the kitchen. I keep it in the kitchen. I know if I'm hungry in my house, where do I go? I go to the kitchen. That's where I keep food. Where do you keep food? In the kitchen. I'm going to show you my kitchen. Come. This is my kitchen. When I go to the grocery store, I buy food and I put it in the kitchen. I put my food in the cabinet. So this is a cabinet. Cabinet. I have many cabinets. Here is one cabinet. And I keep my food in the cabinet. I keep it here. So I go to the grocery store. Here is some coconut milk. I buy the coconut milk. I put it in the cabinet. I keep it in the cabinet. So that means it stays in the cabinet. I keep it in the cabinet. I have many cabinets. Some cabinets down here. Some cabinets up there. Some food I keep on the counter. Here, this is the counter. I keep potatoes on the counter. And onions. I love onions. I keep them on the counter. I keep bananas on the counter. So that's another place we keep food. We keep food on the counter. And then another place is over here. This is my refrigerator with many pictures. And I keep food in the refrigerator. We have a lot of food. And I keep a lot of food in the freezer. So this part is the freezer. I keep chicken in the freezer. That is a frozen chicken. Frozen vegetables. Frozen fruit. So this is a freezer, freezer. So we have freezer, refrigerator, cabinets, and a counter. Right now with coronavirus, it is very important to wash the counter every day. And you do that with a paper towel. So I will take my paper towel. I will take a paper towel and then I have a cleaner like this. So any cleaner with bleach. This one has Bleach, all-purpose cleaner with bleach, removes stains and disinfects, kills 
common household germs. So you want something with bleach that kills coronavirus. And every day, we touch the counter with our hands, we put dirty things on the counter, we cook on the counter. So every day, you want to spray, make it nice and wet, and then wipe with a paper towel and wipe all over so everything gets cleaned. You want to do this every day to keep your kitchen clean, to kill the coronavirus in case you bring it into your house. Also wash things that you touch every day with your hands. So here in the sink I have a faucet. I want to wipe these handles with my cleaner and my paper towel every day every day I have these handles on the cabinets I want to wipe them every day to be nice and clean from coronavirus wipe it all of the knobs here and here and here you want to wipe you want to clean them also, you want to clean the top of the stove, the top of the oven, and clean these knobs that we touch every day. We want to clean them, wipe this. Maybe you have a microwave. You want to clean everything you touch with your hands. So I am doing it fast right now, but you want to spray, Make sure you spray, spray it, and then wipe it with a paper towel. It's very important now so that you keep your house clean and you stay healthy and safe. I'm going to talk to you about expiration dates. What are expiration dates? When you look at food, when you go to the store, you see a date on the food. So here we have April 24, 21. So that says best by April 24th, 2021. So do you see that APR, that is April. April 24th, and then 21, that means 2021, that's next year. So that means this food is best before April 24th, 2021. It is good to eat before April 24th, 2021. After April 24th, 2021, maybe I don't want to eat this. Maybe it is not good. M many of the things we buy at the store have expiration dates. That is an expiration date. Here I have cereal, oats and honey. It's very delicious. And this says best if used by and then this one is a little confusing. So do you see in the blue box it says 13SEP2020. So that is 13 September 2020. So 13 and then SEP is September and then 2020. And above it says best if used by 13 September 2020. So best means it's good. It's very good. Best is very good. And the, the good, the most good. <laughs> and used means I want to use the cereal before September 13th, 2020. After September 13th, 2020, Maybe I don't want to eat the cereal. Maybe it's not good anymore. 
Let's look at another one. I have also here Annie's rice pasta and classic cheddar gluten-free macaroni and cheese. Yum! I'm going to have that for dinner. There's also an expiration date. And it's the same. It says best if used by 26 July 2021. So I have more than a year that I can eat this. So before July 26, 2021, I can eat this macaroni and cheese. After July 26, 2021, maybe I don't want to eat this. Maybe it's no good. Maybe I throw it away. Those are expiration dates. I'm going to show you important expiration dates in the refrigerator. When we buy milk or meat or cheese, it is very important to look at expiration dates. Sometimes you go to the store and they make a mistake and the food you buy is old. So when you go to the store, you want to look at the expiration date. Here I have some eggs, some delicious eggs. I love eggs. And here is the expiration date. It's a little hard to read. And I think it says use by April 29th, 20. So do you see that? It says APR 29. 20 and that means April 29th 2020 so I can eat these eggs before April 29th after April 29th hmm, maybe not good anymore maybe maybe I don't want to eat them I also have some delicious sausage Sweet Italian chicken sausage, yum! And there is an expiration date on here somewhere. Where did it go? Ah, yes, sometimes it's, it's hard to find the expiration date, but here it is. This says use or freeze by April 20, 2020. So I want to use, which means to eat it, use or freeze by April 20, 2020. So maybe I wait and it is April 19th, 2020, and I say, hmm, I still have that sausage. I don't want sausage today, so instead I want to put it in the freezer. So if I freeze sausage, I take it out of the refrigerator and I put it in the freezer. And now it will stay good for a very long time. So maybe the expiration date is tomorrow. I put it in the freezer and then I can say, oh, now I can keep it in the freezer for maybe a year. I think meat stays good for about a year in the freezer. But I want my sausage in the refrigerator because I'm going to eat it later today. And I'm, <laughs> oops, I put a picture on the ground. So those are expiration dates. And we will talk more about them on Wednesday in class. Hello again. So where do you keep food? If you have the book, you can also look at page 152. That looks like this. It's 152, page 152 in your book. This talks about food and where we keep food. If you don't have the book, 
no problem. We're going to talk about it here. Where do you keep food? So, as I showed you, freezer. We keep food in the freezer. That is here. Usually the top part of the refrigerator. The very, very cold part where you keep ice. The freezer, or we have the refrigerator. The refrigerator. So you can repeat that because people have trouble saying refrigerator. So this is re fri -ger -a -der. So this is der. Repeat der. Der. Yeah. Ader. 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 And then this part, jer ader. So it's jer. Jer. Jer ader. Jer ader. Mm hmm. Fri jer ader. Fridgerator. 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 Refrigerator. 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 Everybody. Refrigerator. 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 Anyway, we keep food in the refrigerator. And then over here, we keep food in the cabinet. This is a cabinet. 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 And we keep food on the counter. Counter. This is a counter. In England, they say counter because there's a T, counter. In the United States, we say counter, counter. So counter, that's good, or counter, counter. We keep food on the counter. So in the book, they ask you to write foods that you keep in your kitchen. What do you put in the freezer? So for me, you saw my kitchen, I put chicken in the freezer. So I'm going to write chicken. Chicken. C-H-I-C-K-E-N. Chicken. Not kitchen. I don't put kitchen in the freezer. I put chicken in the freezer, which is in my kitchen. So there's chicken in the freezer in the kitchen not kitchen in the freezer and the chicken. So I put chicken in the freezer. I put frozen fruit in the freezer. I put fruit in the freezer. So I want you to write what you put in your freezer. Maybe two things, three things. And then I want you to write what you put in your refrigerator. So for me, I put eggs in my refrigerator. So I'm going to write eggs. E G G S. Eggs. I put eggs in my refrigerator. And then maybe I write one or two other things. Mustard, ketchup, butter. Put that in the refrigerator. And then I want to write something I put in the cabinet. What do I put in the cabinet? Mm, I put I put pasta in the cabinet. That's where I keep my pasta. Pasta. P A Ooh, that's a terrible A. A S T A. Let me make a better A. A pasta. I put pasta in the cabinet. So I want you to write 
what you put in your cabinet. And then on the counter, counter or counter, something you put on the counter. Mmm, I put bananas on the counter. B A N A N A S. Bananas. So this is where I put food. And this is what I put in each place. So we have freezer, chicken, refrigerator, eggs, cabinet, pasta, counter, bananas. So I want you to write what you put in the freezer. Write what you put in the refrigerator. Write what you put in the cabinet. Write what you put on the counter. And then we will talk about it on Wednesday. We also are talking about expiration dates. Expiration dates. This is when the food that you buy, it is bad. It goes bad after a date. So, like in my kitchen, you saw expiration dates. These are expiration. 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 Expiration dates. Here are some examples. This first one says, use by... What does this say? APR, what month is that? April. April 5th, 2020. So this is the month, the day, and the year. Use by April 5th, 2020. So by means before. Use before April 5th. And use is to eat. So, eat the food before April 5th, 2020. If it's April 6th, can I eat it? Maybe, but maybe you want to smell. <laughs> See how it smells. Sometimes you can wait a little, but you want to check. Smell the food, look, see if it looks okay. So after April 5th, 2020, maybe no good. Before April 5th, maybe April 1st, April 2nd, April 3rd, the food is good. The second example, best by, what does this say? What month is this? J-U-N, June. Best by June 7th, 2020. These are the same. These are the same. Best means very good. Very, very good. So, I eat this food before June 7th. It's very good. I, I can eat it on June 1st. I can eat it on June 2nd. I can eat it on June 3rd. After June 7th, June 8th, June 9th, maybe it's okay, but not, maybe not very good. So again, look at the food, smell, maybe it's no good. Here's another example. Best if used by, what is this date? So it says 05-10-21. What is that date? What month is that? May. May 10th, 2021. So this means the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. Just sometimes you see different words on different foods. So you know this means the same. Best if used by May 10th, 2021. Can I eat it on May 1st? 
Yes. Can I eat it on May 11th? Maybe, maybe. I just have to smell it. Can I eat it on September 15th? I don't think so. Probably not. Here's another example. Use or freeze by, what is this date? 07-05-20. What month is that? July. July 5th, 2020. Use or freeze. So sometimes you see this on meat, chicken, beef, pork, fish, use before July 5th. You want to eat it before July 5th. Maybe you don't eat it and it's July 5th. That's okay. You can freeze it. Put it in the freezer. So freeze means put it in the freezer. Keep it in the freezer and then you can wait maybe six months, maybe 12 months, one year. Use or freeze by 7, 5, 20, July 5th, 2020. And then this last example. These are all the same, except this one you can freeze. Some foods you don't want to freeze. Some foods you do want to freeze. Sell by July, oh, that's July, July 8th, 2020. Sell by. So this is more for the store. If I have a store and I have apples and you want apples, I sell you apples. I sell apples. You buy apples. So if I give money and I take the apples, I buy apples. If I have a store and I take money and I give apples, I sell the apples. So on the food, I will see this. It says sell by July 8th, 2020. That means I want a person to buy this food before July 8th, 2020. I can eat the food before July 8th, 2020. And after July 8th, 2020, maybe July 9th, July 10th. Mm, I want to check it. Sell by is a little different. I can still eat maybe July 9th, July 10th, July 11th. The food is still good because I sell the food, you buy the food, you have it in your house, maybe three days, four days, one week, and you can eat the food. So these are all examples of expiration dates. When you go shopping, look for expiration dates. Because sometimes they sell you food that is bad and you shouldn't eat it always check for the expiration dates. So let's repeat expiration dates. Use by April 5th, 2020. Best by June 7th, 2020. Best if used by May 10th, 2021. Use or freeze by July 5th, 2020. Sell by July 8th, 2020. Okay, on Wednesday, we are going to talk more about where we put our food. And you can, if you have your book, I closed my book. If you have your book, you can look at it. And we are going to talk about where we put food, where we keep food, and about expiration dates. And then we are going to read this article and answer questions about the article. Um, so if you have a book, you can read at home and look at the questions. 
If you don't have a book, no problem. On Wednesday, we will look at the book. I will show it to you in Zoom, and we will read the article together. Okay, so thank you very much for coming, and I'll see you Wednesday.